द आर्टिलरी वर्कस द आर्मोड कोड वर्कस और द इन्फेंट्री वर्कस दैट द यू एस आर्मी परफॉर्म्स ऑल फॉर टू सिक्योर एंड सेव द अमेरिकन इंडिपेंडेंस द यू एस आर्मी नीड्स टू वर्क विद द होस्ट नेशन वेदर इट इज़ इराक और अफगानिस्तान और कोलम्बिया और फिलीपाइंस और इमेन इवेन इट इज द यू एस गवर्नमेंट इट सेल्फ द अमेरिकन इंडिपेंडेंस इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम दैट द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च द यू एस आर्मी स्टैंड एज ए की एलिमेंट इन प्रोटेक्टिंग फ्रीडम फ्रेंकलिन रूजबेल्ट आउटलाइंड इन हिज स्पीच This video is not about what does the US army do at abroad. This video is all about how does the US army secure the American land. The mission of the military has not changed since Franklin Roosevelt gave his four freedoms speech. This video is all about military's modern role in securing the freedom. How is the US army securing the American independence? This will be stated in this video. The environment in which the military delivers that mission has changed and evolved as the enemies and their threats has evolved and changed. For the last decades the Americans have seen the importance of the US army in ensuring the security against international terrorism in domestic and foreign. As a result the US army is now well upgraded to secure the American independence. One of the challenges with terrorist illicit organizations and insurgency groups is that they capitalize on unstable environment. They grow in area where people are extremely disaffected. Groups like these thrive in an environment where there is no security, no government, no development, no opportunity and no hope. Countering these threats requires security, development and governance. Without security, you cannot establish the governance that is required to deliver the services. Nor can you have the development the people need to thrive and prosper. Terrorist non-state actors are often difficult to target. You must look for an opportunity to destroy their networks because they live among the civilians. But these terrorist groups thrive and find sanctuary among an oppressed people. The twofold challenge for the US army is to identify the enemies who resides and hides among the civilians. The US army needs to work with the host nation whether it is Iraq or Afghanistan or Colombia or Philippines or even even it is the US government itself. So the several bases running by the US army all across the United States is all for to defend the American independence from any internal threat and the risk of the terrorist attacks are not always outside from the abroad of the US possible from the internal ground of the US so the US army needs to be always stand by to defend the independence of the United States of America that's all do you have any question you can ask me in the comment box below